Well, here barreling hay with the D4506 Deutsch tractor. Um, thought I had enough diesel to make it through the, through all the windrows and get everything bailed up, but coming down the steep section of the hill there, um, tractor started uh, coughing and missing, um, got to the bottom and classic uh, out of fuel. So I figure since I need to go ahead and bleed the pump anyway, um, since refilling it and restarting didn't work, I'm gonna go ahead and use this time, uh, get the fuel filter changed out and bleed it and make a quick video explaining how to take care of those things. All right, quick play-by-play. -play. I grab your order tools. I'm pretty far from my garage, so I just grabbed everything I thought I'd need, carried it down to the field. I run a drain pan for, because we're gonna be taking off the filter. Gonna need a couple wrenches, fuel filter. Um, I just used this Napa Gold 3358. I'm sure there are tons of various filters that fit it, but that one's served me well so far. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing to change this. Step one, uh, it's a little, a little hard to see, but you look down there, right there, that's your fuel shutoff on the tank. So we're definitely gonna wanna get that turned off before we get going. It'd be a bad surprise if we didn't do that. So that's shut, don't need to go super tight. It's a needle valve on the petcock there, so don't go super tight. All right, you're also gonna get yourself some clean rags for cleaning everything up. So I already went there and cleaned the spots that we're gonna be opening up here. You can see that's pretty filthy. Um, working on the fuel system. Definitely don't want to be getting junk in there. Okay, so now the fuel pickaxe shut off. The filter is right up there above the oil filter. A little challenging on this tractor because I got this giant loader on here, which blocks a lot of the access. So fuel off. We're gonna unthread that filter. Make sure everything's nice and clean. Thread the new filter on. After we do that, we're going to remove this plug here. That's a 12 millimeter. That is for the oil check for the governor and injector pump. Um, according to the manual, you take that out. Um, the excess oil should bleed off. If no oil comes out, then you're supposed to come remove a fill plug up here and top it up with motor oil. So we'll see what comes out when we get to that point. And then lastly, looking at the injector pump here, you have your input line as evidenced by the low pressure tube and then your output there at the high pressure. You can see I got that all cleaned up around there, got the gunk off. We're gonna be loosening this bolt um, and activating, and we'll actuate this bleed lever here. Let's go ahead and get those uh, taken care of. Got my drip pan here. In the bottom of the box, it should come with a replacement o-ring. Usually don't like to see problems, but got a bunch. Oh geez. That's a lot of that's a lot of rust and gunk in the bottom of this. Oh dear. Well that was uh definitely unexpected, huh? I was just thinking, hey, I might as well change the fuel filter since I ran out of gas, but maybe I had a little bit more going on here. Let's get this all cleaned up. All right, if I was up at the garage, I would get Q-tips and work a lot more of that out, but I am not. And I still got a couple acres hay to put up before I lose the light here, so. I'm just gonna wrap up this clean. It's got a good 90 plus percent of it. I hate leaving a little bit in there, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist with this stuff. Put a little bit of clean diesel, or put a little bit of diesel fuel in there. Is it clean? I just touch my finger into the drip pan there. Got the new, uh, the new gasket on. Take your time. There's some thread relief down at the bottom of the, the threads there. You gotta work it past that. Stretch it over the shoulders to get a nice Got it nice flat on this surface here. So that way the filter seals good. Since I'm not in the garage, I just uh, pulled up the dipstick and got some oil on my finger so I can put a light coat of oil on this seal here on the new filter. All right. Infographic, let's make contact and then go three quarters of a turn. So that'll put the little Napa logo right there. Now let's get the uh, 
fuel pickup open back up all right fuel tap is opened let's go to the next steps here all right you probably don't have to check governor oil bleed but i figure since i'm here i'll check it again this 12 millimeter bolt and i already went through before i started filming and cleaned all this up threaded bolt with a bleed hole so i saw some oil come out when i opened it up I'm gonna call that the excess oil it was talking about bleeding off. So I'm gonna call that good. Again, the manual says if it's nothing comes out to add motor oil to that top hole. But I'm gonna sug that down, call that good there. And I didn't bring all my metric wrenches, so I'm not sure what this is. It's somewhere between an 11 16 and 5 8 whatever metric size that is. But I got my nice adjustable here. All right, so that is slackened. All right, I read the manual a little bit closer. It said up to back this bolt out two to three turns. That was more than I had it the first time. Yeah, there we go. Still got air bubbles. All right, that seems to have gotten most of the air out. A lot of hissing and foaming there when we first started. Barely at the end. Seems like a lot, but I mean, I'd guess we only got a couple ounces of fuel in the pan, and that includes what came out of the filter when I took it off. So that's nice and snug. That's what we got in the drain pan. And again, that includes what came out of the, the filter when we took it out. So not a ton. Looked like a lot when we were bleeding, but. Hey, if that helped you out with um, getting the fuel oil changed on your D4506, uh, go ahead, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel. That definitely helps me out. Yeah, hopefully you're up and running here soon. Uh, so I better go get this hay made before the sun goes down. So it took a little bit, probably could have bled it some more and avoided some of that uh, waiting there with it getting the fuel through. But you saw them, we were good there. All right, thanks for watching.